I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman. Even before there was a ministry, I put it in your spirit. For none of this has been done by your hands. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has been given birth. It is from the mouth of the Rekakadash Yimayah that has been given birth. If it had only been by your hands, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth. The holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath or it would have failed. Second Chronicles 36.16 But they mocked the messengers of Yah and despised his words and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh rose against his people until there was no remedy. Beware of touching Yah's true prophets and doing them harm. Prophecy 53 I have given you the victory. Where your faith is, there your Passover will be. Spoken under the anointing through Prophet Elisheva Eliyahu, March 28, 2002. Truly, my children, you face the Red Sea. Truly, my children, the evil Pharaoh and the troops are behind you. But my children, just as I provided a way of escape for Moses and children of Israel, so too I shall do it again. My children, in the days ahead, you shall see things come upon this world that will make you shake your head. And you will wonder and you will say, where is our Yahweh and Yeshua today? But keep your faith and keep your eyes on me, and you shall see the Red Sea part once again. And you shall cross over in safety, and the enemies shall be destroyed. All those that pursue you, all those that chase you, they shall be destroyed. For I am Yahweh, and I change not. I am Yahweh, and I am the same today, yesterday, and forever. And through my son, Yahshua's blood, you come boldly before the throne. You tell me boldly what it is you need. I tell you this day, I've given the victory. I tell you this day, I tell you this day, that nothing that the enemy intended to do would I allow to be done. I tell you I've given you the victory, though the fight for hours with the sword of my spirit in hand. Once again, my children, you've seen the victory. It was not an easy victory. I never promised you it would be an easy victory. When I tell you it'll be a victory, just remember that. No one ever promised you it would be easy. It is true that my yoke is easy and my burden is light. But my children, there is a price to pay for the anointing I have placed on all of your lives. So you eat this Passover feast, you eat it, you do not murmur, murmur or grumble. Because instead you do it with a grateful heart and remember what happened with the children of Israel. Remember the children of Israel that wandered for 40 years. It would not have been so if they had not murmured, complained and grumbled. But I made them walk around and around, and some would say in circles. I made them walk around and around and tested them again and again. I tell you, my children, I tell you this true. Don't murmur, don't complain, don't grumble, no matter what I allow happen to you. Instead, lift your eyes up to me. Instead, give Yahweh and Yahshua the glory. And know that I alone am your deliverer. And know that alone, through the shed blood of my son, Yahshua, that you have the victory. Through the sacred name of Yahshua, you alone have the victory. I have promised you this, and if you will but obey, if you will incline your ear to everything I say, I tell you, my children, this, you will have the victory. Remember, with a victory comes a price. Remember, there is no soldier that goes in a battle that does not feel fatigued. There is no soldier that does not at one time want to run. But remember, my children, remember this, that I have promised you the victory, if you will but obey. If you will but incline your ear to every word I say. If you will but stay in holiness and live for an example for all to see. I tell you this, my children, you in this ministry shall see total victory. You shall see your enemies die at my hand alone. You shall see your enemies run at my hand alone. You shall see your enemies bow and kneel and confess Yahshua as Lord and Savior. And it shall be only as I have decreed the victory. 
in my son, Yahshua's name. And you will know whatever price you pay will be worth it. For I have given you the privilege to bring me glory through your suffering. Just as the prophets of old, when people see you stand, they will know that it is only by my hand that protects you and guides you in all ways. My children enjoy this Passover feast that I have provided for you this day. Thank you for obeying me. Thank you for listening. For the blessing of this Passover prophecy was meant for others and not only for you. Tell them if they missed doing the Passover Seder, even in a humble way, as long as they acknowledge me, that I am the same Yahweh that delivered the children of Israel from the Egyptians and from the curses and the plagues that did come. Tell them if only my children would only do it in a humble way and acknowledge me, no matter what the calendar day, where the Passover is is where their faith will be, and where their faith is, that Passover will be. Gonna hide. Yoshua's coming back for his bride. We're YDS. We're standing strong. This is our song. The enemy said in three days she'll die. But Ali Shavali, who's alive, she's a YDS. Still standing strong. This is our song. May 24, 2005. Archangel Michael fought to get to her side, fighting off the enemy he protects the bride his wing hanging over her bedside like an innocent two-year-old child she touched his wing marveling at the beautiful sight the judases will run and hide reprobate enemies rejected denied jeremiah 6 27 to 30 is your eternal life no pride in Yahshua HaMashiach's bride Wanna be like Enoch raptured into the sky He was pleasing to Abba Yahweh He went to heaven alive We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide Yahshua's coming back for his bride We're YDS, we're standing strong This is our song 